As consumers demand ever faster speeds and more bandwidth, telecommunication operators in this region will soon have another way to deliver. Now, it's a new high-speed undersea cable system called CX1, and it's operated by Singapore-based Supersea Cable Networks. Patrick John Lim has the story. With high-speed internet so accessible in Singapore and the growing number of smartphones and internet-enabled devices, it's easy to forget the infrastructure behind it all. We cannot run away that um, internet connectivity is the, I mean, it's an essential, uh, you know, day-to-day uh, -day utility. Just like, um, you know, we need power, we need uh, water to survive. I think, uh, you know, internet connectivity will, will definitely be part of that essential utility in our day-to-day -day lives. According to the UN Environment Programme, it's estimated more than 95% of international communications go through submarine fiber optic cables like the CX-1. At an industry event today, infrastructure provider CX unveiled plans to implement a cable network over the next five years spanning the globe. Its first phase, the CX-1, will increase connectivity between Singapore, Malaysia and Indonesia with a 250 kilometer long high-speed undersea fiber optic cable network. According to CX, its network could operate at speeds of 200 terabits per second, faster than existing fiber optic networks, where speed ranges from 20 to 50 terabits per second. This network is expected to start operating in 2018. CX eventually plans to connect Southeast Asia to the United States, as well as to the rest of Asia by 2021. Uh, what we are is uh, we are trying to uh, complement to what the region currently has in terms of capacity. Um, what we are looking at actually is uh, to address the pent-up demand in the region uh, for more capacities and bandwidths for the uh, people. Currently, most of such submarine cable networks are usually run by a consortia of telco operators and infrastructure providers. CX hopes to change that as an independent infrastructure provider. All this will enhance our technological connectivity. This will in turn further enhance bilateral and multilateral cooperation amongst neighbours and strengthen the bonds both at the government to government and people to people level. CX says it's currently in talks with interested parties and it's already signed a memorandum of understanding with several regional telcos.